redesigned for 21 beautiful interior and exterior let me tell you 36 feet two inches roughly three stone over 11,000 pounds dry this is a couple's coach that is your vacation home you've just been waiting to see welcome to the heartland bighorn traveler 32 rs Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside the all new Bighorn Heartland Traveler 32 RS. This is a rear living couples coach that if you're looking for those upgraded features in a full profile fifth wheel, this is it. Now I wanted to have the air conditioner running so you could hear how loud it is. Now this is when it's in the ducted mode. There's also a quick cool mode, which if you're tall enough, ah, you can reach right there and woo, that is a quick cool. I'll tell you that right now. It'll dump right on you. But they like to advertise this as a 28,500 BTU AC unit. What that means is you got a 15K BTU here in the rear, 13.5 BTU in the, in the uh, main bedroom area. Add them together, 28.5. Pretty cool feature. Now, along the back wall, you're gonna notice we got the floating shelf in between our storage cabinets. This is the coastal cottage themed decor. Glazed cabinetry, I really love the bevel and the, the fact that these are residential style. You got the matte black or the graphite style handles, hideaway hinges put in there, large wood balances, and the theme that you're gonna notice with the inlay here in the back as well as what's on the backsplash, this is called Rustic Diamond. I kinda like it. But I got windows on both sides, great for light, great for air. Sleeper sofa right there, which could easily fit two adults. Plus, I got my end tables with USB and 110 charging on both sides. Big space, good area. We got opposing slides, which really opens up the living area in here. Slip resistant, easy to clean flooring with the 35,000 BTU furnace ducted underneath and has residential style ducting in there. You know, the little round tubes. Frosted glass inlay here on my cabinetry. I like the light on dark accents with the black with the inlay and the wood grain on the top of the slides. Full size slides too, so you get over six feet uh, of clearance there. 50 inch TV on the swivel right here, countertop, some more drawer storage, which you're gonna notice all the way around the Bighorn Traveler, solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives. 5,000 BTU fireplace right there that does multi-flame setting, multi-light settings. I like to say that that does a really good job of knocking the chill off the air. If you're sitting here in these plush recliners that have the, the side molded padding as well as the storage in, in between and the cup holders, you got the windows open, the cross breeze going, it's a little chilly at night, maybe the mountains or the beach, you cut that on, you're knocking out right there. It's gonna be a good night's sleep. More storage above my sofas right here recliners, excuse me. I got the live edge dinette table. And what that means is it's rustic. It's just got that smooth edge right there. Just looks rustic, looks good. And more importantly than that, some of the tables that you're seeing in RVs now have this like hard cut off on the edge. And if you're walking by it or whatnot, you bump it, it they could almost cut you. These nice, I like the live edge. Plus you got the leaf extension right there. Residential barn style lighting with the LED lights large panoramic windows and check out the decor that I have on my island kitchen right there look at that beautiful inlay very rustic just makes me feel like I'm at my own cottage you got the undermounted stainless steel sink right here with the solid surface countertop covers aka cutting boards as my buddy Ian always says cut on the bottom you don't want to mess up that top plenty of storage on this unit too from the drawers to the doors underneath, good spot for your trash can. This has got the brush, uh, the matte black high rise chef faucet with the sprayer. Just looks residential, looks clean, man. I feel like I'm in my cottage. I'll keep saying that a lot. The coastal cottage theme continues here in the kitchen. More storage. You got the convection oven right there, the 1.6 cubic foot. You got three prep stations uh, that are solid surface in pretty much every Bighorn Traveler you're gonna get. Right here, my cooking. Right here, my island. Right over there, my prep slash coffee station, which we're gonna get to here in a minute. The Suburban three burner cooktop with the grill style grate and glass cover. There's my rustic diamond decor on the backsplash. 
the 21 inch oven. So if you want to bake that bird, maybe do some shrinker dinks, you can. Drawer underneath, as well as storage cabinets on both sides. Just plenty of room, plenty of features. What they did for 2021, they brightened it up. They gave you more stuff. They gave you backsplash. They gave you the floating shelf back there in the back. And they gave you more pantry space as well. Storage there beside the fridge and pantry space right here. And you got the Hayer 18 cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here, which plenty of room. Um, you do have the inverter in this one because it does run uh, on your power, but you got your freezer drawers down there, which are locked into place. Probably should have unlocked those. There's one with the ice tray, one right there. I, I just really am a fan of these, but when you're boondocking, not really the best option because they drain so much power from the batteries. Frosted glass inlay here, once again, with that matte black uh, appearance, my storage, as well as my controls. I got my water heater right here, my water pump, uh, which your water heater, you have a 12 gallon DSI bypass on your hot water heater. I like that because you get big space hot water for your shower. Run out my slides, cut on my lights, plus there's my remote, my remote switch for my inverter. Some storage space up top, solid surface countertop with the little built-in charging panel as well. So if your phone can use those charging panels, just lay it there. It's got the little rapid charge more drawer storage underneath, as well as my LP02 detector and my circuit breaker box. Come up, yeah? And you'll see I got my GE controls for my HVAC 15K, 135, and 35K on the furnace. Got your controls right there. Solid door leading me into the master bathroom with the high rise porcelain bowl and foot flush, hangers, lights, shelves, linen storage. Solid surface countertop right here for my single basin sink with the large sink. Once again, that matte black fixture. I just love the way that the inlays in here just really make it pop, make it feel more residential. Um, medicine cabinet here. I really wish I would have had some raised lips because that just helps keep, staying, you know, keep things in place. You got the walk-in single surround shower right here with bench seat, corner notches, glass enclosure, and large skylight. And right there is my little shower nozzle and controls. Access to the tubes right there, the PEX piping, if you will. Sorry, Bobby. Now, come on into the master. You're going to pass a large window. Got a window here and a window there. Dual windows to really brighten this space up when you're outside. 32-inch connects TV with your 110, your cable connections there. Plus, dual USB charging and the NFC charger right here. I like this option on my chest of drawers um, because... If you notice right here in the slide with our queen size bed and the padded headboard, we do have dual USB charging on both sides uh, and the little shelf. I'm probably not gonna use that when I'm sleeping. I'm gonna tell you now because I'm gonna be more concerned about when I turn over knocking my giant head on that. Sure, it's a little high, but I use two pillows. Ah, just my thing. But I would probably put my cell phone over here to charge, but you do have options. Storage underneath as well. Strut supported. You'll see right there, there's my other two chairs. Got st storage right there. Washer dryer prep in my closet, which you're gonna see. See the washer dryer prep right there. Go ahead and hop on in there, Bobby. Yeah, let's cut the little light on for you. Got that there. I got this here. You could play high fivesies right there through the panel. There it is, look at it. But good space. Ward bar right there, storage lip right there. Harlan did a good job with the Bighorn Traveler, uh, just doing a good job of maximizing the space. Barn door, my other AC, just good flow. I like this one, the 32RS. This is the smaller of the Bighorn Travelers, um, but still plenty of space, a good couples coach with upgraded features. Uh, just, you know, Traveler just didn't have as many features as the regular Bighorn, but still, man, great one we've seen the inside of this beauty now let's go take a look at the outside so here we are on the outside of the beautiful all-new heartland bighorn traveler 32 rs let's start right away right up here with this front cap molded fiberglass with that automotive coating on it led running lights aggressive profile 
I just like the way it looks. It looks like, raw. I'm coming to do some camping. Now, right up front, we got the Rotaflex fifth wheel pin box right here, the hitch, with the rubberized absorption system here in the pivoting head, plus that max turn technology. Just gives you a little bit more turning radius and really stops with that chucking and bucking. Part of the redesign for this year, they got this patent pended store more storage with three access points. So they dropped the generator prep box down to the bottom right there and they gave you three access points to the storage. Right here is your more right easy reel for your cord spooler if you need to use it. I think that's a very nice little feature to have, but does take up a little bit of space. Auto leveling right here on the outside, plus with my LCI one control, which we'll see here in a minute. You got the six point hydraulic leveling system. I got my battery box, my hydraulic casing right there with my fluid in it, plus my pure sine wave inverter. There's my 2000 watt inverter. Now this one is also set up for solar. Um, and it's uh, rated for 20 amps like you can see right here but if you got the 10 amp panels you can plug that in you are set up uh, with a, a, a section where you could mount your solar panel on it if you wanted beautiful fiberglass siding with the asdale backing on the inside which means no water absorption no off gassing sealed tinted safety glass all the way around got my 30 pound lp tank right here Campside of my pass-through storage. I like the Rotocast box right here. Plus I got my cable, my 110, and my dual USB. Very nice feature for charging cell phones. 110 GFCI plug right there. Heated and enclosed underbelly on this one. Plus you got your leash latch right there. You got that 12 inch single piece I-beam frame going all the way over and the little bit of drop frame at the front which allows us to put the battery storage and the gen box underneath the storage compartment. Magnetic anti-slam latches on my storage doors right here. Boom. And the aluminum tubing that's in this is a Triple H frame. Not the, welcome to the game. Triple H, it's a aluminum tube with reinforcements in the middle. So most tube frames are like this. Well, this one kind of has some cross panels in it to just give it some more support and some sturdiness. Fully walkable roof. You got the Solera uh, power awning right here with the LED light strip and the adjustable pitch. Solid Moride steps leading into the entry point. Extra large grab handle, which doubles as a door guard. Got the seals right here, which if I'm not mistaken, yeah, these are the through frame rack and pinion slides and your 15 inch aluminum rims on those G rated tires, which is a good feature for Bighorn. I like that they did that. You got the CRE 3000 suspension on there as well, which really helps with that absorption. Spare tire mount underneath as well as my LP quick connect. Solid ladder here mounted on the back with the handles going over the top, my backup camera prep, the arch ceiling, the three inch rubber nozzles. Not as much of a grade that I, I'm used to seeing. Um, this looks kind of flat, which would be good for walking, but the, the grade on the top, eh, might be a little bit of water storage up there. Just pay attention to it. You got your trailer hitch there, 50 amp plug right here. And Bobby, let's see if we can get underneath you got the low point drains down there you see to the right of the tires and to the left of the tires we have our main connections dumps terminations if you will 65 gallon fresh 90 gallon gray 45 gallon black tank right there and the lippert level up ground control system that's on this one is a six point hydraulic leveling system faster to level plus you got up to 60,000 pounds of lift since it is hydraulic Come over here, got my external command center with the little port from all my connections. Black tank flush. Here's my inlet for whether I'm doing city connection, dry camping, or fresh tank fill. And there's my little vent, external shower, light, all my little cable connections, power connections, the whole 10. Black tank flush right there, rotocast on this side. And if you come right in here, Bobby, you'll see I got my LCI one control. That gives me my automatic leveling. I can run my slides out, run the awnings out, you know, pretty much all of that right there. Plus you have the option of doing it from the app on your phone. Other side of the 30 LP tank right there. So you got 60 pounds of LP, close that. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. And I've been talking about the dry weight being 11,000 pounds. Gross vehicle weight on this one is 15,500 pounds. That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander and you say, hey, what does that mean? 
because here's here's what my vehicle can tow and here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where I'm gonna take it camping. That's really gonna help us find the one that's right for you. But at 36 feet, two inches long, roughly, you know, 11,000 pounds dry. Um, I gotta tell you, for a couple's coach, if you're looking for something in that range and that weight with those features and amenities, I would put this Bighorn Traveler 32 RS at the top of my list. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope we get a chance to hear from you soon. And until then, come check out a camper, man. They pivot. They're fun. I'll see you.